grey city. More than 40,000 streetlights light up the second largest urban area in Finland. Tampere is known for being environmentally aware and is a forerunner in using IoT technology to provide smart city solutions. Tampere is involved in several smart city EU projects and as a result, there are a lot of smart city activities and pilot projects going on in the city. One of these pilot projects is the Vinica project. It involves a smart street lighting solution and a city IoT platform from Capelon. The project features more than 400 streetlights connected in a wireless RF mesh network throughout the area. By using the common NEMA twist-on plug, the light controllers were easily connected to the already existing luminaries. In the project, the Capelon light controllers were used with Sirius luminaries from GreenLED. These smart light controllers allow the city to easily reduce the light level to match the actual need. There is no need to have the street lights burning on full light when the streets are empty. So the city can look forward to at least 30% energy savings by dimming alone. With individually controlled street lights, we can dim the street lights differently. We can reduce as much as possible in the normal zones while maintaining a higher light level in priority zones, for example, at a street crossing or at a bus stop. So we are saving energy and maintaining safety, or even improving safety. If a street light is broken, the traditional way is that it will stay broken until an engaged citizen reports it to the city. But now, a street light itself can detect if it's broken and then automatically send an alert signal to the maintenance personnel, allowing the city to provide a higher service level to its citizens. There are so many possibilities with smart street lighting. Here, you can see streetlights flashing in sync to indicate an incident or to lead the way for a rescue party. Individually controlled streetlights can provide many advanced features. For example, in this project, the streetlights do not have any presence detectors. But that could easily be added, and then the dimming control could also react to passing vehicles or pedestrians. The mesh network provided by the streetlights also provides an excellent infrastructure for other sensors and IoT devices to find their way up to the cloud. As an example, in this project, we have waste bin sensors reporting their fill level using this streetlight backbone network. There are several challenges for a wide smart city mesh network. Scaling up hundreds of thousands of devices to be used by different city operators requires an advanced but still simple to use network technology. Since we are targeting urban areas, another challenge to cope with is the high density of devices and many sources of interference. To meet these challenges, Capelon selected a unique RF mesh technology from one of the fastest growing RF companies in the world, Wirepass. Conveniently for this project, Wirepass has its headquarters in Tampere. Let us take a quick overview of the City Vision IoT platform and how it is used in the Vinica project. Data is flowing in from different types of IoT devices using different IoT protocols. The data is converted to the same data format and forwarded to the heart of the platform. We can call it the City Data Hub for now. When data has arrived at the City Data Hub, it is made available to all the internal platform services. These internal platform services can then be used by service providers to create smart solutions for the city. So, like Linux is an open source operating system for applications, the City Vision platform is an open source operating system for smart city services. So we can see the City Vision IoT platform as a smart city service enabler. That, in combination with the possibility of sharing data between different applications, really promotes innovation and engagement that will make the city itself a service enabler. In the Vinica project, there are about 400 connected streetlights in a Wirepass RF mesh network. They are connected to the platform via gateways using MQTT JSON. There are also some other sensors, like waste bin sensors in the Vinica project. 
The platform is also collecting data from sensors from a low Rowan network. For the purpose of the pilot project, it is done mainly to show the platform's openness towards other types of IoT protocols. We also have data flowing in from an external data source, providing air quality data for Tampere. So when this data arrives into the data hub, it will be used by different internal services to support the smart street lighting service. For example, the smart street lighting service is using a complex event processor to analyze light sensor data in real time. And based on threshold rules, the street lights will be switched on or off or dimmed. The street lighting service also receives status and electrical data from the street lights that will be stored for further analyzing and visualization. Also, the angle of the pole is measured. A rundown pole will automatically provide an alarm alert. The data in the platform is currently used by several companies for analysis and services. What makes this possible is the fact that the City Vision platform is based on Fireware. Fireware is an open source software platform with the objective to help accelerate smart city solutions. In Fireware, the City Data Hub is called Orion Context Broker. The context broker is surrounded by a well-known API, assuring data is standardized throughout the platform. However, a great API is not all. Fireware also provides a way for everyone to understand the meaning of the data. Fireware provides data models for many different types of application, thus allowing data to be harmonized. This provides true interoperability. It allows cities to interchange experiences and to use fireware solutions from all over the world. It also provides interoperability with other cities' fireware-based platforms. In this project, at least two other fireware platforms are subscribing to data from the City Vision platform. In the Tampere Vinica project, we are currently using the data models for smart street lighting, smart waste and air quality.